Hi, this is Joe Brown. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm going to go over my live well that I set up. It's Molar 26 gallon that I bought on Amazon. If you buy it on eBay, you're going to have to pay this shipping. But on Amazon, it's free shipping if you have Prime. So it was $228 for a 26 gallon. It's just, it's just a plain Jane live well. It comes with the lid, a plug, the lid, and just the live well. I did all of these. So I put a uh, stainless steel latch on it. I had risers going in. I'll do another video where will tell you the size of the screws and uh, stainless steel bolts that I used. But all the hardware is stainless steel. I got stainless steel hatches. So you cut the lid right here. You don't want to cut it right on the hole. You want to cut it a little away from the hole. So I left I left room so you could still still see molar and that way I'm not cutting a hole in the riding. It will just look generic. And then I spaced my bolts perfectly out. So this side is bolted down. And then you can see the latch it won't come undone when you're driving. Bait's not going to flop out. I had to cut a little notch right here so these two don't bump. But if you look up in there, I got shavings in there from where I drilled in it. But if you look up in there, I could have the strainer up against the wall. I'll probably do that and cut that down a little bit. But I got a dyno air. If you can see all those bubbles in there, I ran it yesterday morning and that was 24 hours ago and it's, this water's still full of oxygen. So you can see some people like the, the molars that they have for striper soup, they have the tank inside. They drill a hole and they put a six, six inch PVC going all the way down they have the pump and everything in there i don't like that because you lose live well room the room that you have to put the bait in this way you can tell mine is more open so you can put more bait in there and it's less stress on them a lot of people would rather have an internal pump but mine's an external so i got an 800 you can see right here 800 gallon an hour this is an in-home house um filter right here and this is for sediment. It's a sediment filter. So it's going to catch all the scales and the, and the poop inside that filter. It's an in-house one. So it's going to filter the heck out of this. I'm going to have the cleanest live well water ever. And then it go down here. It's going back in and this goes to the dyno. And the air intake on the dyno right here was kind of unique that I used. I used a brass fitting where you can see where I put the air hose on there. And I drilled a hole just a little a little too small to where I use the rubber mallet to tap it in and that thing's stuck in there. But you got to make sure you run the air hose through first and then hook the air hose to the fitting and then tap it in. But you can see the little air intake right there. It'll keep it nice and nice and good. They have plastic ones online, but I heard they break. The tips of them break. So you can buy this right here at Menards or Home Depot. And I, I think it's great. Like this thing, it pumps water amazing. So I'm going to start it up and let you guys see it. Go plug it in real quick. So you can see it pump the water. I can hear it on right now. Yeah. But if you can see, see all that oxygen coming up right there out of the dyno? And you can see how the tank is flowing pretty well for a 26 gallon. You can get away with running a 500 gallon pump per hour, but it's not going to have that current in there and it's not going to push a lot of oxygen either. The faster the pump's moving, the more oxygen is going to come out of your Danco. And if you're looking here, I got an 800. That's an 800, and I think that's plenty. Uh, the 800 is three fourths fitting, so you know you want to drill a three fourths hole to put that in there. If you get a 1200, it's going to be a bigger hole. So make sure you understand that. If you order one, make make sure you know that you're going to have to have the right size tools to be able to put that hole in there. And I used Marine Goop. I used Marine Goop to do. All the ceiling there doesn't leak, doesn't have any problems. The only thing that you have to do is if you're running it dry, make sure that you prime your pump, open it, let the water come out, and then close that top back down, no problem. I'm getting in mounting hardware. 
right here to mount this to here. And then I'm gonna end up mounting the live well to the bottom of my boat. I'm gonna put it right here, right behind my seat and in between the light. It's gonna mount perfectly right there. I'm gonna end up hardwiring it to a switch on the other side. So if you're looking for a cheap, inexpensive live well, you can get a setup like this. I use the stainless steel latch, stainless steel hardware, a house filtration system, which I'm the only one online that's done that. It took a little bit, but you can buy all the fittings online to get it to work. And you wanna make sure this plug right here, a lot of people say they don't fit. So what you wanna do is I put the, the plug, I took it apart, I put the rubber in, then I put the plug back together because it's a tight fit. And I don't plan on taking it out. I'm gonna use another pump to empty it. So I'm gonna put a pump in there and then empty it overboard when I'm, when I'm draining it on the way home from fishing. But I, I like having a 26 gallon with a Danco. Like you wanna buy a Venturi system. They sell them on Amazon for around $30. But I'm telling you, a Danco, D-A-N-N-C-O. That company, they, it's hard, hard plastic with a metal fitting. Well, most most of the Venturi systems that I've seen online are plastic. So if you get one of them plastic ones, the number one thing is that little piece sticking up that you hook the air hose to, it breaks off. If you read the reviews, a lot of people saying, hey, that piece is breaking off. So on a Danco Venturi, they have metal. Like you can see, if I can show it to you right here, that piece that it's hooked to, that's a metal fitting and, the, and it's made out of metal and I got it for $40. So for $6 more, I bought mine on eBay, but you can also contact Danco, look them up online, D-A-N-N-C-O.com and get a hold of them and they can get you one for around $40. And it's a bait saver, I'm telling you. you can, I can keep alive a ton of shad in there. I, I like to do a lot of uh, shark fishing for spinner sharks and golf shores. So I can keep a lot, a lot, a mullet in here and not huge ones. You know, I'm talking eight inches to 10 inch mullet, but I could probably kick six to 10 of them in there alive easily. So that's why I set mine up this way. So the bait can have more room. Like I said, I'm going to take my screen right there and, and cut off some of that so I can get the screen a little bit closer, a little bit closer to the, to the back of the tank. But other than that, it's it's good to go. I, I'm waiting on the bracket to come in today. I ordered a stainless steel mount that mounts this to the tank. And once I get that in, I'll do another video of it operating when I go out catfishing. So uh, I'll let you guys know how it works. Thanks again for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.